Let me preface this by saying that I am not an expert, but I am the mother of a trans child. And there has been a lot of misconceptions about medication for the trans community, specifically minors. So growing up in grade school, I had a friend named Fern and Fern started developing super early, like in fourth grade. And you could tell that she wasn't sitting well on her skin and it was horrible for her. But here's the thing, by seventh grade, we all caught up and Fern went on and enjoy the rest of her childhood, high school, so on and so forth. So now the difference between Fern and the trans kid is that we don't have the same luxury of everyone else catching up, of everyone else feeling the same as us once we reach a certain point. So the anxiety level that is created by not allowing children to take these medications and take a breath and grow into themselves is so strong that we actually may be harming certain children by not giving them access. The vast majority of minors who would receive some form of gender affirming care would receive it in the form of puberty blockers. Puberty blockers have been used for decades to delay puberty. That means a 13 year old person who was born as a boy and is just on the cusp of male puberty can delay it if that person feels like she may be a girl. I find a common misconception is people think trans kids are being quote mutilated or, or groomed or coerced into something they might regret later. But in reality, trans kids do not get reassignment surgery before they're adults. They get blockers. That's what the far majority of trans kids get. And by all of these laws blocking every single form of care, shutting down gender affirming care clinics that truly just help kids take a breath, by closing them, you're closing their airway. So let's let parents of trans kids handle their kids with their doctors in private. I know my kid best. This looks like and sounds like a Gypsy Rose Blanchard kind of case here. She claimed that not giving children puberty blockers can then harm the kid. Is she aware what the puberty blockers do and how much harm they cause? These kids will definitely grow up to hate their parents and realize how abusive their behavior and their treatment actually was. Any normal person watching that video knows this is abuse. It doesn't take much to come to that conclusion. Hopefully, you know, in the future when this stops, this will be the type of thing that is studied in textbooks as classic cases of abuse. Basically, that mom is saying, oh, I, I had a son, but I really, 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 really wanted a daughter, so I coerced him into becoming a girl. Very sad. Sounds like the mom wanted more attention than the son ever did.